Hello and welcome to the Brick Freaks. Today with an old timer from Mold King 13080, a Bugatti, a vintage car, a vintage car. 3,564 pieces with power functions. And I saw it and I thought it looks kind of cool. For a Technica, it looks really very accurate for an old old timer. I think it's a good design. I love the colors, black and yellow. I've seen a lot of Bugattis here in a Technic Museum near where I live. There are a lot of old Bugattis and old Mercedes-Benz, so I'm well known with this form. This is the back of the car. I believe it's a stolen mock. I don't know at the moment. Just check the set info and if there is mock yes, then there is a second link in the video description. The first is to your world of building blocks where you can buy the set from my partner. And the second link goes to uh, the side of the mock, if there exists one, which I believe, because this car looks too cool that it's designed by Mold King. But perhaps I'm, I'm, I'm wrong, and <laughs> it's Mold King. We will see. I check before the video came out. Okay, we have seven building steps. We have one back with all the pins, and yes, they made it blue. Why not black in a black and yellow set? Why not black and yellow pins? Okay. We have to live with it. We have six of the rims here, of the very small rims or small in width. Six of the tires, two L motors, one servo motor, battery box RC, four 32 length axles. I'm a little bit weird. That's strange. Strange for a car. That you need for a bus or something, but for a car, four of the 32 axles and two of these. I don't know the length, perhaps uh, it's yes, it's 16, it's the half. And an extension cable that I missed on the bus. Okay, and yes, a small sticker sheet. I can live with that because Mold King never prints the pieces. I hope they will do in the future. We will see. Okay. Uh, I hope it's a, a good set, and if it's a stolen mock, Mold King don't mess up with rebuilding it. And um, yes, you know, sometimes Mold King mess up with the mocks. I hope here that's not the case, and I have a lot of fun assembling it, and you have a lot of fun watching me doing it. Okay, I start obviously with building step one now. Well, that's the building step one you see here, and yes, it's it's strange to to start building a car like this. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I haven't ever built a car with such a technique. But we will see in the end if everything is working fine. Okay, I show you the other side. So inside this box here sits the Akku box. And here we can switch the gears. Everything's fine. This is working. This here is working and turns this here or that here. You see it? Okay, this here works. But I don't know which <laughs> which function which is at the moment. I, like I said, it's strange to start a car with such a, a long middle part or I don't know. I don't know. It's strange, but it's okay absolutely okay. The instructions, if you are absolutely new to the game and has only built little technic sets, then don't start with this here. The instructions are a little bit more complicated than Lego because we have yeah, three and a half K on pieces and a small book only, so it's not Lego. And it's a morgue. Then here we have our chrome pieces from good quality, no problem at all. Okay. I'm very curious how this thing will work out and what comes next and okay, obviously here is the light that must be the front of the car, but it's really strange, really, really strange. Oh. That's half of building step two and brought us the other part, the counterpart. So we have, yes, already nearly the length of the car, oh, yes, it's the back, here begins the, the roof front seats yes great <laughs> strange beginning 
but okay. Everything is all right. Uh, the other part was easier to build now because um, I was f familiar with the, the angles you see and so it was no problem to build this here. And we have a, you see it, we have a lot of frames and, and Technic beams already here assembled. So this is really stable and gives us a a good base for the rest of the car. Oh, building step two is finished and brought us the two or oh, this doesn't look really cool. I have to redone this. Okay, uh, brought us the two of the back spare uh, two of the spare tires or oh, all the spare tires <laughs> and the back axle pieces for the rims here and differential. I believe there will be or one L for the back axle and one for the front axle. I believe. I'm not sure, but it looks the way. So we have already the, the length of the car. We have mostly the width of the car and we have mostly the height of the car. Okay. So far I'm really happy. Everything is alright. Everything builds great, everything moves what should move, uh, and I hope it, it, it stays this way. So building step 3 is done and brought us here covers for the Akku box. It brought us here a little bit of plates. It brought us the two L motors. They are directly connected here to the TAN gear and to the back axle and they are also uh, going further to the front over here not connected at the moment okay then we applied steering you see there it's turning we applied uh, or assembled the instruments yes it looks like digital instruments for an old timer but hey, it's an old timer that drives electric, so <laughs> it's up to date. And we have here the sideline, which is nicely made. Okay, so far no problems at all. It's really, really a cool car to assemble. It's uh, different than most of the other Technic cars I assembled, but it makes a lot of fun, and I hope it's it really looks cool at the end. At the moment, I like it very much, very much. Um, Steering we have underneath here Here is the port then we connect steering to here over the extension cable Yes, everything fine so far really no problem to assemble this thing here Now this is half of building step four and brought us front seat back seat and a little bit of the side covers here the only thing that that this here is not really straight that is a little bummer for me, but I don't know uh, what's wrong with it. I have to look again. But the rest is really cool to build. Really, really nice. Repetitive, this side, middle seat, that side, putting together. But so far, cool building techniques. Everything works really fine. And I think we have a really cool side look of this old timer here. Oh, next building step is done for brought us here the cover of the back seats and here we can open come on man yes I put in there a half technic pin no so the doors really closing we have to push a little bit yes and now they are really really close so the roof and it's very stable everything's fine so this is just really a cool looking car at the moment, I think. The only thing is the gap here. I don't know what to do with that. I don't know. Okay, the rest is really, really, really nice. Oh, building step five brought us the front axle. Ah, come on. Servo connected here 
to the uh, it doesn't work the hand of god steering couldn't work when it's going through the servo motor and you know what i mean okay but uh, the inner steering wheel is connected to the steering we have here the eight cylinder in a row and ah i don't like it very much this is made with the two half technic connectors with axle and here you see I don't think this is really connected to to anything. It's connected to I don't know. I believe nothing. <laughs> we will see. <laughs> we will see in the review when when I driving if this here is working or it's just cosmetic i don't know okay then here's something we have a, 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 a saying in germany when you have to do really boring repetitive work you really hate then we say okay that's work for someone who has laid his mother and his father and this was kind of these are 50 or something from the three length pins with x and they are going through seven length lift arm in this direction and then in this direction and yes it looks cool but it is repetitive as hell okay no, so far it's still a really enjoyable uh, build and lovely made car. I have really nothing to co complain at the moment. I'm still wondering, is there a bug? Where is the bug? Oh, this is building step six. Most of it, the rear lights are missing. And this is not really clicked in. This here has to be, I believe, there. So, okay. Ah, now this is gone. That was... When I assembled it the first time, I was sure... Okay, now it holds. Okay, so, you're building the whole thing here in one building step and then attach it uh, on three or four points to the rest of the chassis. And inside here are the two 32 by 32 uh, axles. And they are a little bit too long exactly one lift uh, Technic beam too long uh, but this the reason is you need a little bit space here because this is to be meant to be meant to be a little bit bent <laughs> you know what I mean <laughs> so okay because um, I was I looked four or five times in the instruction did I miss one of these did I count it wrong uh, no when you when you here at the top, you see that uh, one Technic beam length or a half pin is still out of the axle, and you have to uh, move the gaps. At the moment, I have the gaps only here. I'm I'm looking for a better solution, um, but that's what you have to in mind when you're building this: that you have to move or have really really small gaps between everything and so you're coming to the length of a Technic beam okay other side is still clear and you see we're building the hood it's nice open like in the real the angle is nearly perfect so now we're seeing most of the from this side the whole car I think it's really good. For a Technicar, such a curvy old-timer, I think this is not a perfect solution, but a very, very, very good solution. And makes a lot of fun to build, because it's something different. So, we are finished. Uh, I know the reason, because the other side was a little bit wrong, because 
here must be a 4 connector and I had only a 5 one. So that was the, the, the weird angle. Now it's, it's better on this side. Um, here are two. This here normally should be stickered. We have a better look in the review with, with the photos and everything. The pictures, not the photos. The front. So only the oh sorry for all the background noises because I have the plumber here and my bathroom gets totally renovated. I emptied it with all the tiles and, and, and everything. And now uh, the man for the hard stuff here. I get new pipes and everything. So for the next weeks perhaps we have often a little bit in the background. Okay. Um, what I really found cool is that he built an exhaust. And we have here the for the old cars. Yes. It's not working. You can't. <laughs> but it's nice. Okay, for all of you who don't want to wait for the review, if the car's worth its money and it's a good set, it's a good set. Not a very good set. Little cosmetic details. And this is not a perfect solution. Also. But it's a, a good set and it's worth the money, everything is working. So if you like it, buy it. The others wait for the review uh, where I show it when it's driving and pictures all of all angles. And yes, have a closer look. Okay, thank you for watching. I am Frank, your Brick Freak, and I hope I catch you in the next one.